All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. Something new today, something you guys probably haven't really experienced, or if you saw it when it came out, nobody really explored it a lot. But this is Greedfall, a little double-A game from Spider Entertainment that I fucking love, but I haven't touched it in a long while. So, let's fucking do it. I want to first cut on subtitles if they're not already on. Audio. What is it under? Ah! Let's go with normal. And I still have yet to 100 complete this game, so maybe we'll try. Could you stand a little taller, just a tad? Like this? Yes, yes. The chin a tiny bit lower. Gaze a little more to the right. There, now, hold the pose. Okay. I don't know what happened to the subtitles, but we'll fix that in a minute. Uh... It's a nice preset. Gotta fix the hair though. Wait, what's the difference between face and. Okay. Uh, hair. Hate how the camera's kinda slow. Let's bring it all the way back to. Uh, wait, where is it? This one. Eyebrows. The eyebrows look fine, but oh god. <laughs> it's like caterpillars. Not a wide range of skin colors, but good not oh my god. Stick with black. Nice hazel. Alright, so what's next? Skills. I think we're gonna spec in the warrior, mostly. Next step. So we've got one point to start with. And increase the power of melee attacks. Melee is a pretty big thing in this game. And what's next? What do we wanna do? Let's do charisma. Since our primary role is gonna be like an investigator slash, uh, like, liaison, diplomat. Just a few more minutes. You have such an incredibly singular face. Uh, that's a compliment, my lady, out of my mouth. <laughs> Your particularity gives you character. You're still here? We have nearly finished. Have you any more need of me, Master? You haven't forgotten that we're setting sail today, have you? Of course not. Your cousin is nowhere to be found. I've searched the palace from cellars to attics. Your uncle is beside himself. He was of a mind to paint the town last night. Don't worry, I shall track him down. Make care to your own preparations without wrinkling another frown. We'll meet you on the boat. It's about time your cousin took account of the responsibilities awaiting him. He should go and inform the ambassadors of Telemi and the Bridge Alliance of his departure. Have no fear, Master. I will go and see them in his name. I beg your pardon, but urgent matters call me away. Might we finish all this later? Impossible, my lady! You are leaving with the tide, if what I've been told is correct. I am sorry, sir, truly. I must be going. Uh, my lady, please, I beg you, Her Highness! Thank you, cousin, for getting me out of that. <laughs> Alright, before we do anything else, I don't know why the subtitles... Uh, no, it was under game, right? Yeah, subtitles. Oh, because I didn't quit. hit quit and save. There we go. Uh, let's just do audio. Everything's at full, so let's... Uh, Let's go look for Constantine.
Let's see, that's how you sprint. Yes. Can I go in here? No. I might need to turn down sensitivity. See, where are we heading? Over this way? Hey! Green blood! Cut! And so the day has finally come. My royal fledglings are leaving the nest. Accompanied by their most loyal and tenacious master of arms. As loyal as your goal. Enough with the cold mercenary. I know you like us. Still hiding your men in the unsuspecting shadows of the greats of this world, I see. Hey, our blades are the only thing keeping you dainties alive. <laughs> Kurt, I'm not in need of your protection. I'm no longer a child, you know. Is that so? Well, let's see. Fight with honor! All right. Attack three times. <laughs> And yourself? Oh, oh shit. Uh, dodge. Parry is. Oh shit. No, no. There we go. Prove Kurt. Prove to him that you can fight. Okay. Come on, Kurt. Okay, healing yourself. Let's go pause. And then once in there. Uh, and was defined to. Let's go up. Up on the D pad. Oh shit. That was a good one. That was a good one, Kurt. I don't, uh, I know I didn't go like a full melee build the last time I played. Ooh. What a green blood. Me who thought myself a competent weapons master. It's becoming a little hard to believe. Don't add insult to injury. This is humiliating enough. We'll need to get you through the basics, or you risk getting your feathers plucked at the first sign of trouble. That could definitely come in handy. In that case, Otto here is going to be your training partner. Go! Fight with honor! Okay. Firearms. Uh, what? Firearms. Oh, shit. Oh, it wants me to assign it to something? Alright. It just shot him twice. Yeah, I know what armor is. It was clearly apparent. Oh, change weapon. Hit that by accident. <laughs> Gotta get back into the swing of things. There we go. Are we good? Oh, fury. Oh shit. Trying to lock on. Don't have enough stamina for that. Uh, or adrenaline. Uh, 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 Ooh, okay, going down. Uh, 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 
Yeah, hit her with swords. Sheathing. Okay. It appears we've brushed up on the basics. It does. And I'd like to be on my way. I've quite the list of things to do before we depart. Indeed. Remember that you can always train in our barracks on the island if you're feeling rusty. Are your bags packed for the great departure? Yes. You know I get by with very little. You're not angry that I'm coming with you, I hope. Of course not. On the contrary. I am thrilled that both you and Sir de Corsillon are joining our party. A few friends at your side in unknown territory is a boon. Don't tell me the old school teacher is competing against me. By the way, where is our future governor hiding? I was hoping to put his skills to the test as well. I have no idea. He had plans to celebrate his departure last night, and we haven't seen him since. You know, Constantine. I should have gone with him, but my heart wasn't in the mood for a celebration. The thought of bidding my mother farewell. It is never easy to say goodbye. But you should be going to see her now. She must be waiting for you. I'll meet you in front of the palace. Then we'll go and find Constantine together. Very well. I'll meet you as soon as I've said my goodbyes. Yep, nobody's been able to find him, so it's kind of up to us to go find him. But first, we gotta say goodbye to everybody. What is this? Have you not been taught to knock? I've asked a thousand times. Oh, it's you, my dear child. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm having trouble getting used to your condition. Come now, let's speak of more pleasant things. I'm so very happy to hear your voice. You remind me so much of your father. I do miss him so. Today is the big day, isn't it? Ready to set sail for that island everyone's talking about. Yes, but the idea of leaving you behind, alone and ill. Dying, my child. Alas, there is nothing you can do by staying that would ease my suffering. One thing brings me cheer. They say the island is full of miracles, and we might find a cure. Even if I were to find it, I would never be able to return in time to... I know. But it brings me comfort to know my daughter has left on a mission to heal her people. Come now. It is time for you to take leave. Here. Take this with you. What is it? A family heirloom. Something that... Take it, and keep it with you. May it bring you good luck. All my blessings go with you, my child. Now, be off. And I think exactly right there is why uh, you've seen why I love this game. Uh, let me let me turn. Let me first. Yeah, let's take off the uh, the hat. Not not a fan of that. Can I? Okay. Good. And let me turn down the camera sensitivity a little bit. Uh, maybe under control options. All right. Let's go that. It swings a little bit. Maybe that's what's what I'm not liking. That's better. Better enough. Ugh. Cut. It's done. Sorry, green blood. Look, we can see the masts of the ship that'll be taking us. This is one sacred adventure we're embarking on. I hope this island will keep its promises. In order to know that, we'll need to find Constantine first. You were right. Maybe he is already at the port. He was so eager to leave. 
This will be quite the chore to finish before our departure. The commander wants to recover some merchandise from our supplier, but the transporter doesn't want to deliver. I did all I could to persuade. Nothing came of it. All the parliamenting fatigues me. But this is your domain. I wouldn't say no to a little help. Of course. Where is the supplier located? In the lower boroughs, near the port. Right then. We'll put it on our list of visits. All right, add to the team. Come along, Kurt. Let's have some fun. I like how we call Where it negotiation like parliament. I've been asked to pay visits to the ambassadors of Teleme and the Bridge Alliance before our departure. Their dwellings are not far from here. We could go there first. Very well. Do you think Constantine will be waiting for us next to the ship? I don't know, but it is certainly worthy of inspection. We'll figure it out. We'll find him. Wait, where is it? Oh, shit. We're in combat already. Oh, shit. Dead. There we go. Did not expect that. Not that quick. But I guess an ambush is an ambush. You're not supposed to expect it. Thank God it's not the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, do I have any other armor in my, uh, no, no, okay. Is it down here? Uh, which way? The compass in, I know in this game is a little bit hard to read sometimes. But you know what? I also have problems with compasses in general like that. I prefer mini maps. I probably am not the only one, but it just happens sometimes like that. It do be like that. Uh, this way. Oh my. That is a corpse pyre. Go in. There we go. Greetings, Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I have been told that you were named Legate. Congratulations. Those are great responsibilities for someone as young as yourself. But you will bring honor upon your family and the congregation. Of that, I'm certain. I thank you, Excellency. I've come here to inform you of our departure for Tiafredi. My cousin Constantine is taking office as governor of New Serene. And I'm accompanying him. I had no idea you would be leaving so quickly. What a shame. I had thought... Well, then, that is a pity. Have a pleasant voyage. A brilliant future awaits you. They say that it is a marvelous island. Please convey to your cousin my congratulations and sincere wishes for success. You seem slightly hesitant. Please, tell me what troubles you. A rather unscrupulous individual has been sowing trouble in Serene. A charlatan passing himself off as an alchemist. Do people actually give credence to these lies? Alas, yes. They snatch up his celebrated panacea. Remedies worse than the ill, believe me. As you can well imagine, alchemists are our pride. This vulgar trickster casts dirt upon their reputation and our own at the same time. In any city of the Bridge Alliance, we would have arrested him. But here, we respect your laws. I shall see what I can do, but make no promises. My departure is imminent. I thank you, Excellency. And I am pleased to see you have taken so well to your new functions of diplomacy. 
The man operates in the city center. He is said to be clever and mean. Be careful. Okay. So ask about, let's uh, let's get some info out Would of him. Would you be so kind as to tell me what you know about the Bridge Alliance? With pleasure. A legate needs to know the history and strengths of her allies. The Alliance was sealed by several nations of the Bridge around 200 years ago. The greatest of our cities, Al Saad, became the capital, and a council formed from the different nations now rules. This union was originally put into place to better resist the appetites for conquering our neighbors, but our ancestors quickly realized that the union had also strengthened us economically and culturally. And of course, exchanges in knowledge were strongly encouraged from the outset. Today, it is by no means an overstatement to claim that the Bridge Alliance leads our world in science and exploration. Each day, we push the limits of our understanding further in each and every domain. Okay, well, good to know. Just a nation full of scientists. Could you give me your understanding of the relations between the congregation and the bridge? Our relations hang essentially on the quality of our trade and commerce. The exchanges are very profitable, especially on the cultural front. I will not hide from you that we have hoped you would join our number for quite some time. But your princes insist on maintaining a neutral stance between the congregation and the other nations on the continent. It is by all means a respectable position, even if it means you also trade with our enemies. Okay, uh, what about Tier 4D, which is the island we're going to? The Bridge Alliance has been on Tier 4D for much longer than we have. What can you tell me? It is true that we founded Hikmet, our newest city, around 15 years ago now. Alas, I haven't been able to go there myself. I can only tell you what others have reported to me. It is a luxurious island, an enormous dead volcano thrones in its center. The vegetation is extremely varied and the fauna wondrous. We discovered animals that we had never ever seen before. Some are bigger than houses, but they're not the only occupants of the island. A savage and crude people also live there who speak an incomprehensible language. But you shall discover all of this for yourself soon enough. Well, I wouldn't say savage. This is, we shan't be treating the natives like uh, like any colonial empire normally does. Uh, their relationship with Teleme. And what of your war with Teleme? <sighs> it has been dragging on. In fact, it has been dragging on for years. It is madness. If those bigots hadn't gotten it in their heads to convert the entire continent, we wouldn't be in this situation. But that's the way of the world. We shall not waver, whether here or on Tiafredi. Have you been fighting battles there as well? From what I've been told, Teleme has wisely and tastefully built their colony far from our city. Tastefully. Direct conflicts are in fact quite rare. But one day they will inevitably take place. Right. Well, try not to try not to destroy the place before we get I need there. To be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady Desade. All right, off we go. We got more ambassadors to speak to, other things to take care of. Um, I already have no new gloves. What the hell is the difference between? Eh, but um, let's uh, let's see what's this? Find the charlatan, which is down here. Oh, the other one is all the way on the other side, so kind not not too far. And then we'll go find the charlatan, investigate other things, try to find Constantine. Oh, uh, that's the way we came through. Uh, let's take a look around before some corridors ok 
Okay. Oh, shit. One thing about it is that you can't jump over things, so you gotta you gotta finagle your way around obstacles. <laughs> open, open the door. There we go. Hello. Oh, I gotta get a little bit closer to him. Hello, hello. Good day, Excellency. Lady Dasade, to what do I owe the pleasure? I have come to inform you that my cousin Constantine and I are departing for Tear for D on the hour. Ah, yes. I did indeed hear talk that you had both received callings of greater stature. Allow me to congratulate you. Were you not named Legate of the Congregation? You are correct, Excellency. I thank you. It is a station of great honor that I am sure you will fill with brio and panache. The Mother Cardinal Cornelia will be enchanted to work with you, and your cousin in the future. I only regret that your departure is so sudden. Really? To be entirely honest with you, I was hoping to solicit your help in a rather delicate matter. Tell me more about it, and perhaps I can take care of your problem before my departure. Very well. A small group of dangerous heretics has found refuge in Serene. We know that your uncle tolerates the presence of all pagans within the city walls. But these particular non-believers threaten the fragile harmony of this place. We would consider it a tremendous favor if you would arrest them and deliver them to our guard. Heresy is not a crime in Serene. You do know that, but I'm sure that my uncle would hear your arguments. Why call on my intervention? The Prince would indeed give us his blessing, but it would take time, far too much time. For according to our sources, these fugitives have already made contact with a smuggler to take them who knows where. I see. You were hoping that I'll be able to do something before they make it to an enemy city. If your heretics are planning on boarding a ship, then they must be in the dockyards. I'll look into this and see what I can do. Okay. So, let's get some info out of him. And of course, every diplomat wants us to do something for him. Could you tell me anything about Teleme? It would be a pleasure. As you already know, our glorious nation is guided by our faith. We follow the teachings of Matthias, our founder and greatest prophet, and give thanks each day to the Luminous for having gifted us magic. The high dignitaries of Teleme are at the same time our spiritual guides, advocates, and grand mages. I've heard say that dissensions have appeared recently in your nation. Ah, you must certainly be speaking about the debates that have divided the Ordo Luminous and the more political orders. The Lord Luminous has an extremely pure vision of our faith and applies the words of our saint very strictly. But other, more open-minded factions exist within our nation. They believe that a less rigid dialectic would attract souls more readily to our faith. But their differences are purely theoretical, and do not threaten the cohesion of our nation, I assure you. I mean, theoretical differences can turn into giant schisms. Did with Islam. What is your point of view on the relations between our two nations? As ambassador of Teleme, I can only rejoice at the mention of our commercial treaties. We appreciate as well the welcome that your uncle gave to our missionaries. Thanks to your support, more and more believers wander your lands. The congregation is our most precious ally. To be perfectly honest, we have only two complaints that heresy is tolerated, and that your treaties with the Bridge Alliance are maintained. Right, which we're not gonna 
change either of those. How is Teleme faring on Tirfridi? We built a marvelous city, San Mateus, on the western coast of the island. Did you know that certain historians believe that it might well have been the final resting place of our prophet? Really? Our missionaries there are a multitude. Not a day passes without new islanders joining our sacred faith. Yeah, I'm sure of it's course, not by force. There are certain pockets of resistance. There is talk of a demonic cult. Disgusting creatures. But I am confident that the Ordo Luminous will be able to put an end to these horrors. And we have tremendous hopes that the entire native population will join our ranks. Right, again, not by force, right? Sure. How goes the conflict with the Bridge Alliance? Your territory is, alas, the only one that has been spared from the ravages of war on the continent. We fight on every front, without great success, one must say. But what other choice do we have? These so-called savants not only refuse the light, but are determined in their fight against it. And on Tirfridi? To my knowledge, no one has yet seen any serious fighting. The bridge have succeeded in provoking the natives there, and have their hands full keeping them at bay. Which leaves us greater latitude to settle peacefully and pursue our mission of conversion. Right. Conversion's never really peaceful, though, is it? Oh. I must I'll be going. Mess up with that. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Mm-hmm, sure. Goodbye. Okay, so... Got a couple of things to do. Oh, nope, didn't mean to do that. Uh oh, hold on. Alright, that's good. Always gotta make sure the stream isn't killing itself. Hello. Past that, so we gotta take the long way. Excuse me, excuse me. Got a merchant around here. Let's take this. Welcome. Oh, damn. Such a pleasure to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Well, first, let's see if we got any junk to sell. Now, let's see. Axe, is that better than anything I have? It's kind of better than that. Can't sell this item. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's definitely sell that. Keep that stuff. We don't have any junk to sell, but oh, wait, what do we have? Oh, we got some gloves. Let's keep that one. All right, now let's purchase some stuff if we can. Well, how much do we have? 30. Look at that, oh my god. Alright, so I need 180 for that. And what is that? Necklaces, sailor cape. Can't get that just yet. Thank you for your visit. See you soon. Come closer now. Don't be afraid. Take that. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, 
the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little phial is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? No, it does everything. not. Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man. No okay. Doubt. Hello, the sir. Let's well talk. Polished. I even feel like buying some. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Yeah, I doubt that, but uh... Let's see a demonstration. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I am in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now. I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart. All right. We're gonna just, is it, is she dead? Just got corpses laying around from the plague? Okay, that's not healthy. Uh, what is it? Uh, it's around this way? Didn't mean to do that. Alright. Uh, research book. Pages covered in small, illegible handwriting. Experimental results. Patient observations, incompatible, incomprehensible symbols. Uh -oh. To my help, and death to the others. Move away. Things are about to get shit, nasty. Shit, shit. That's Kurt. Gold coins, gold coins. Uh, one died over here, gold coins. Uh, weird alchemist of Alliance who rented a room. Oh, it's a letter from the innkeeper, okay. Anything back here to loot? Yes. Let's take a look. Lovely, as it should be. 
No, nothing for the head just yet. How much do I have? 40, 40 gold? Hello, sir. Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it? You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I am gladly returning your vial, so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts, as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right... I do. Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Okay, so if he Back ran off, not get away. We, we need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. Okay. Oh, this is the tavern right here. I thought it was off to the side a little bit. Are they not bandits? These are the same people who attacked us earlier. this seven gold okay just pick it up right in front of her good day tavern keeper good day to you what is your pleasure ask about all right i need to be off it's got nothing Farewell. for me goodbye let's go through here upstairs maybe have to talk to him immediately so I am genuinely sorry to learn that you have not found peace okay is that it that's all that's in here hi buddy you again what are you doing in my room I'm not the only one that's found you have you seen the mob that's gathering in the street I'm neither deaf nor blind <sighs> by the spheres why didn't I leave the city while there was still time the Alliance ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce and he's the one who sent me Sahin, Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am, playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of al -Sad. Ask about his career. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me, coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Right, so a political squabble. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I was unfortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy, to criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners making them drink the most vile poisons to find a remedy to the malachor they won't hesitate to kill i could not keep my silence it is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned sahin's hatred okay so you were against human testing that's that's pretty good are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls these potions are not harmful that is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients but you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? You don't understand. I fled, but I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is an attempt to create in those who drink it 
a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use as experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps. But you are hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So... What are you gonna do with me, my lady? We'll get you out of here. I'm not gonna arrest you, but... I'm going to help you, you leave, gotta leave the city. But you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Okay, stay here. We're gonna look for you a way out. No, the front door is not a uh, viable option. Can we go through here? Nothing in there. What about here? Oh, storeroom key. I assume this is not the storeroom. But... Okay. Back downstairs. Is this the, uh, this is the kitchen? That's the back door. door. The lock's double bolted. Uh, uh. The key to the tavern. And this will open this door, correct? Let's go and find the other. Awesome. We need to get him out of here as fast as we can. Through we go. All right, buddy, time to get out of here. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? Yes, I need to get you out of here. I have unlocked the service entrance. You will be able to sneak out of there discreetly. Without being skinned alive by the mob? Mm -hmm. You need to remain prudent. I will escort you to your cart. I follow you. Let's sneak out the back. I hope we don't run into any unhappy patients. I'm quite sure we won't. I mean, unless they're lingering around the back, but I don't think so, because that's a servant entrance. Okay, there's a lot of sick and dying back here. Which is not sanitary, not at all. Climb this. Angry customers. And we have no choice. Which way are we? This way? this way? Wait, let me let me uh What is this? This is Talk to the captain. This'll lead us back out to the front door, won't it? Oh shit! To my and death to the others! Move away! Things are about to get dancing! Okay. Where's the alchemist? He's right there. Oh shit. I can't see because of that hole. He's dead. I think we're in the clear, right? Oh, we are not. Now we are. Okay, so we can go just this way. 
let's first loot those corpses back there. And so it is, oh, it's this way, right? No, we might as well, might as well take this way. Is that it? Okay, I guess not. All right. Uh, which way? I'm pointed the wrong way. This way, yes. Excuse me. Oh my god. I should have stayed at the tavern. I was safe. Oh. Always love coming across things to loot here. I get uh get points that requires two points next point level three so we'll just kind of wait for that to get magic wait what okay yeah not doing the bandit hat not at all all right what do you got for me Old rusty rapier. I don't know how much better that is than what I've got. Right, let's take this. And this card's this way. No. So we should have just went this way to begin with. And here we are. My cart, finally. I owe you my life. How can I ever thank you? Just do us the favor of never coming back. And stop this deceitful commerce. Have no worries about that. I'm not going to forget this lesson anytime soon. Move along now. Get out of here while there's still time. Would you accept this as a token of my gratitude? Farewell, my lady. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return in a moment, we're going to uh, see what else we can get up to and inform the ambassador of our... Wait, what? Inform the ambassador of our successes here, or quote-unquote failures here, and we'll see, uh, see what else happens. So I thank you so much for watching, and I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.